Hi there, welcome to Man Kitchen, the cooking show where you don't know how to cook, and neither do I. In this episode, we are going to make us some Italian meatball sandwiches. So, let's do this. So once you've gathered your ground beef, uh, sausage, sweet sausage, uh, parmesan, two cloves of olive, two cloves of garlic, two eggs, Half a cup of flour, some olive oil, some breadcrumbs, some bowls. You take your small bowl, put the flour in there, because we're going to be putting we're going to be putting the meatballs through this before they go get baked. Um, ooh, okay. So first thing is we beat the eggs. Like a pro. Whisk it, whisk it, whisk. So we'll also need a half of a cup of breadcrumbs. Okay, I feel like this is one of those things I added after the meat. All right, jewelry's coming off because this is going to require some intense handiness. Oh, down that's this thing again. That's not gross or anything. Just poop it out. Mm. <laughs> Get out of there. Ugh. Oh, they made a terrible noise. Don't throw the paper in, because that would be really gross. Oh yeah, that's good. This is cold. Holy smokes. Ah, shoot. I forgot about the garlic. All right, one moment while I wash my hands and dice that. Ta-da, diced. Now that part's over. Back to where we were. Uh, mix it all together. Wait a second. Gosh darn it! I'm a freaking idiot. Add Parmesan too. <laughs> Jeez. Oh, 
How much you ask? I don't know. You just kind of eyeball it. Whatever looks good. This is the worst of the shit. Hey, honey, why are your arms so toned? Ah, it's just grating the cheese. Wink, wink. Time to make some balls. Hmm, a little bit smaller than that. Boom, boom. So you grab them a little bit, roll them through the flour. It's like a really gross Play-Doh. Sorry, this is the really boring part because I'm kind of concentrating on this. Oh, meat the balls. Oh god, there's so much meat here. Yeah, that's what she said. Well, I didn't need that anymore. Get another baking pan, maybe. This sucks. I'm sorry, I hate doing this tedious sh shit. Cooking's supposed to be fun, damn it, not boring. Ugh. Yeah, if anyone's looking for the name of a horror monster, just go with meat hooks, because it's just, uh, ugh, gross. Okay, wash my hands now. Now that you have human hands again, uh, just take some of this olive oil, drizzle it on top, just very thinly, just so they don't really want to stick to each other and or the pan. Now these bad boys go in the oven at 350 for about 35 minutes. So we will check back for sandwich construction. I bet you thought I forgot, didn't you? Um, but actually this time I'm having, it's called Not Your Father's Root Beer Ale with the Taste of Spices. It's a, uh, it's a hard root beer. But the interesting thing about it is the fact that you really can't taste anything with it. So it's very, very drinkable. I mean, it only has a 5.9% alcohol, but it's like drinking A&W. Like, you, can't, you cannot even tell. So before you know it, you've had two or three in like half an hour, and then you realize, holy smokes, I'm drunk. So yeah, drink accordingly and be careful. We also have uh, marinara warming up in the pan and the meatballs are just finished so we will get to sandwich construction now that we have our buns ready <laughs> buns just kind of arrange them like so take some meatballs Very carefully place them in the sandwich. Take your warm marinara, put it on. I only used about half a can, so didn't want to use the whole thing because I figured that would be overkill. There's that. All right, and then you take some mozzarella cheese. You can make your slices last twice as long. Fold them in half and they fit a little bit better. Then you change your oven to broil at 350. And then we're gonna put these back in for about 10, five, 10 minutes. And then we wait and see. There is the finished product. Doesn't it look, look delicious? Mm-mm-mm. 
that will about do it for this episode of Man Kitchen. If you liked what you saw, leave a like, subscribe, and or comment, share, whatever, really. Um, <laughs> uh, feel free to leave suggestions on social media and or the comments below. Uh, I will leave a link to the recipe. And as always, eat, drink, and be awesome.